Hello and welcome to this week's Damp Show with me, Damp Sam. I hope you've all had a brilliant week and I hope you've all earned a few quid, to coin a phrase. So uh, this week on the Damp Show, I'm going to go through a, a, a gadget that uh, I've been sent details of uh, and asked to be a, um, a supplier of. Um, and it caught my eye, so this came through post this week, yesterday, and uh, I had a read of all the information about it, um, really interesting, um, and I'm going to tell you exactly what it is. The literature has come from a, a company called The Preservation Shop, so I'll, I'll, give them a, uh, I'll give them an advert on here. The Preservation Shop, and they're based up in uh, Newcastle. When it came through, so the, there's a letter, printed letter, and also there's a one of these, it's um, like a flyer with a QR code on that you can take you through to a website. All really good advertising. Um, and it says, uh, the, U the UK's most competitive supplier, and I, I don't doubt that for one minute, damp proofing, basement waterproofing, Woodworm, dry rock, condensation, and, and listen. There's a big market for suppliers like that uh, in the current environment, with the uh, black mold being uh, at the forefront of the agenda. A lot of stuff in here is from Wickermill, um, but they do uh, bond it. We use their products. Sovereign. I use some of their stuff. I use some of Wickermill's, Ventaxia, Triton. Um, so. It looks as I mean I've not been on website, but it looks as though you know the the sell some good stuff. So uh, it's come from their technical manager, who's uh, Mike Mike Davison, and he's got uh, he's a he's a certificated survey in structural waterproofing, just like myself. So he's been on PCA course, and uh, he's got his waterproofing qualifications. So when he's selling basement waterproofing stuff. He knows what he's on with. But, there's a big but. So they sent us this through. And they, they've they've took this on in, in, in good faith. So uh, I've got this letter through and it says, uh, Dear all dry damp proofing. So it, it, it weren't really addressed to me what it is addressed to her company. So they've gone through directory probably and sent it to everybody. Everybody in England. Um, and it says, How would you like to have a 100k profit bolt-on business that will run alongside your existing damp proofing business with no additional staff who wouldn't everybody would wouldn't we it says you may have heard of the new devices which are set to revolutionize the areas of damp proofing um i'd not actually <laughs> i mean i might be behind do but um i've not heard of this particular device um they go under the names and claim to reverse damp in walls and so on solid floors without anodes, injection or wiring. All good so far. So we at the preservation shop and I'll give him a, I'll give him a, um, a plug. So www.preservationshop.co.uk if you want to go on their site. We took great interest in these devices and look to secure the import rights obviously we have an excellent reputation and therefore need to be careful and fully test these devices to ensure they work specific uh, they work as specified before selling or putting our name name to them Hiya, it's Damp Sam here. I've just come on just to tell you that dampsam.com is now up and running. We've got the Express Damp Proofing System course designed by me, run by me, done by me. You can buy that. We've got the ultimate guide to black mold and condensation. You can pay what you want for it. And we've also got three free ebooks. And also, we've got a guide to basement conversions, the ultimate guide to damp proofing. And also the podcasting series you can get in contact with them and the YouTube membership. Enjoy it, rest of your film. I always thought that products had to be BBA tested. So if you look at a lot of sovereigns, um, 
sovereign stuff, bags of plastic, uh, um, a lot of a lot of um, safeguards, um, damp proofing products, dry zone, dry rods, and all that. They've all been BBA tested, which is a third party tested. So basically, they'll they'll go they'll go off to these third third party testing places, um, and they just they just test them to see whether they do what they say on the packaging and on the instructions and everything like that. So these places where you can send these things to get BBA tested, and uh, if it's got BBA test uh, BBA approved on bag, you know that it's been sent to somebody independent and they've had a look at it. And it, listen, it doesn't take it takes a long time to to get BBA tested because they have to do a lot of um, a lot of thorough examinations and tested and things like that so um i don't know whether these have just skipped it or whether they think we'll do it ourselves and um who better to do it than somebody who's in this uh, field which is uh, mike um who's, who's into waterproofing now how they've tested it i don't know so he says to this end we decided on a french company hang on a minute i just knocked me my <laughs> we decided on a french company to supply the devices which we bought and installed in 10 properties. We monitored the results and found that only 3 out of 10 were successful. And then, in varying, degree, varying degrees, encouraged by the success of the 3 units, we set about approaching other suppliers and found a Turkish one, a Spanish one and another international brand. We wrote to them and invited them to bring their products to our headquarters here in the UK for a demonstration. So my f the first thing that pricked up when I read that first paragraph, first thing that I, that I sort of, that, that sprang to my mind is that this is it's predominantly well it, it is it's it's based on um, fixing damp proofing from rising damp. It's just rising damp because I've read, I've I've gone through everything, and what I can tell you is that it only fixes um, rising damp, and it says damp in floors. So, um, so that's one of the things that, and and when they've said three out, uh, they've they've got ten properties. So we bought and installed in ten properties. Now, I do a lot of damp work, and and I, and. And I've got a, a Facebook uh, group. We've got 20,000 people on our Facebook group. And we get them to send pictures in of their damp issues. And I've not seen any rising damp, actual rising damp, patterns of... Uh, patterns of rising damp. I've not seen any for years. And the reason why is because modern day properties are built with a damp course in so what we call it mod modern properties is any properties built after 1919 even though these properties that were built before that this is the the um mark that, the, that we all go by this is the date that we all go by properties before that are traditional and we can say that they might not have a damp proof course even though they probably some of them do and I, we, we see them all the time when i when i go out on site um so all properties have been built with with physical damp proof courses from either you know poured bitumen bitumen felt roll uh, slate there's there's all different types engineering bricks things like that so uh i've not seen i've not been i've not been to a um a survey for a long time for years years and years that's had actual rising damp. Um, so for these to find, for these to find ten like that out of out of thin air, and I'm not saying that they that they haven't, but for them to find ten properties with actual rising damp um, in such a short space of time, because the, the the they've put some dates on, and it well this is from March, so <laughs> so. Um, so they, they, this got me alarm bells ringing. Oh, they they arrived. One supplier came came straight back 
and accepted our offer, and they arrived March 2023. Um, oh, 2023, that's, that's a year ago. So I'm thinking it's this year. So apologies for that. Right, so it's in a year. So they could have got 10. They could have got 10. Um, but like I said, I've not, I've not seen actual rising damp years. Yeah, I can't remember the last time we, we had actual rising damp. We, and when I say actual rising damp, what I mean is damp that is specifically from water, a water source in the ground, travelling up through capillaries with soluble salts, nitrates and chlorides dissolved in it and that's that's gone up the wall in evaporated out of the wall and left a salt band and decoration spoil um classic rising damp everything else that we see is normally um bridging bridging issues and uh and yeah so for actual rising damp years and years ah yeah damn sam here did you know if you want to watch a full unedited version of this, if you become a damp fan, two ninety nine, which is as much as a an expensive cup of coffee up here, you can watch a full unedited version of this. Nah, let's get back watching this bit, eh? See you in a bit. So one one supplier came back straight away and accepted their offer. Uh, they arrived in March 2023. And it quickly became apparent that there were, in fact, manufacturers of the product who have been supplying and installing the units in Spain for many years. The boss of the company, Ramon, who is a professor, explained why we had limited success with the other suppliers. The original units we tried came with various power outputs to suit the size of the property, which is which is a fair comment. Raman's units come with various outputs to cover all sizes of property. A bit like PIV um, units, so you can have small, medium or large. So obviously the, these units can be altered. But also have a frequency setting which adjusts for brick, stone and concrete walls. Ramon told us he had full set of data in his archives in Spain with details of every unit fitted over the years and the results of installations, which, again, I have no issues with that whatsoever, no issues at all. Being super cautious types, we arranged to go to Spain, and get me a flight and inspect the archive. Yeah, I bet they were queuing up for that. Sure enough, he had all the results and records, but he also invited us to see a historic site, Mercat del Born, which is um, Mercat, don't know what that means in Spanish, Del of the Born. Um, I don't think Born is in what we call class as Born, or it, it could be. Uh, the excavation site and museum in Barcelona, run by the Spanish equivalent of our English heritage, where they have installed the units to maintain the dryness of the remains. We met the site owner, uh, sorry, the site archaeologist, who showed us the installed units and confirmed they had carried out their own tests, which showed they worked. Again, no issues with that. No issues with that. It's 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 good. Um, it's good research. They've gone over there. There's a picture of them, at you know at, at this place. Um, no issues. We returned to their head office and agreed terms. We purchased an initial batch of units, which we put to service with the correct size device, set to the correct frequency for the building materials employed now there's no there's no details on this on this building and i suppose if i if i if i rung them and, and spoke with them they'd, they'd take me out and that but i'd i'd like to see some before and after pictures i'd like to see the um the um patterns of dampness now on their website there is an 
they are it is definitely rising damp patterns on the pictures on on their on the um the website for um go on for this product which is called the Mersec Eco. So on, on their website there is brilliant pictures. So like I said, I've I've, I've no doubt that it that that they've had results with it. So um and, and this in this is not my uh this is not what I think's wrong with it. So um the results were day and night compared with the other units. All worked and progressively reduced the moisture levels in the walls. We have devised the process of installation for the UK market. We have generated the terms, conditions of business, and we bought, uh, brought in 50 units to install in our area. And this is uh, Selbit. So we are now looking for selected trusted partners. I am trusted. To take on a franchise. A franchise. Ooh, that scares me. A franchise across the UK for the supply and installation of the products in their own exclusive areas. We will supply the paperwork, training, advertising and support. We will fully guarantee the product and we will provide the units at a discount price to our carefully selected chosen partners. Now, when they say that they guarantee the product, they're guaranteeing the unit. So it's a bit like PIV units. They'll guarantee that it's going to work for you know 12 months or whatever PIV units normally five years because it's, it's low um it's low voltage so that's not a problem what people are gonna be thinking in their heads if they've not done their own due diligence like me is that they're going to be guaranteeing that this product is going to do what it says now like i said I, i've not seen the the terms and conditions but I'm sure that they're going to be well covered. It's important that these units are only used in the correct circumstances. See, now we're getting into this nitty gritty. E.g. They will not cure condensation. Fair enough. So it's important that our partners can differentiate, differentiate between rising damp and condensation before selling the units. Right? So they've only put two in there. So... So they're wanting people that can only differentiate between rising damp and condensation. So that's only two types of damp. Now, we all know that there's a lot more types, isn't there? So you've got sulfate salts on chimney breasts. You've got the um, lateral damp from raised ground levels. You've got penetrating damp. And you've got uh, bridging issues, and then leaks from, you know, pipework escapes so escapes of water. So that's just that's just a few. But they're only naming two in this like um, this letter what they've sent. So as you will have realised, these units work best in a specific set of circumstances. They are not correct for every damp proofing job. And this is why we have approached you, gen <laughs> generic term, because of your reputation and excellent feedback. Well, they could be talking about damp sand, but they've not put it in. But they do. that does describe me, doesn't it? We feel we could entrust you to specify the units ethically and only in the correct circumstances. We feel that we could entrust you to specify the units ethically and only in the correct circumstances. Well, they could, but I probably wouldn't fucking sell any. <laughs> I'd probably not sell any. Because, again, I've not seen a, 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 a rising damp job for over 10 years. And, and I've not seen any, any rising damp in 20,000 people sending all the fucking photos in. So, do you know what I mean? It, uh, not all damp is rising. This is what I'm saying. The system will not replace your damp proofing services. I thought it was supposed to... I thought it was supposed to... Damp proofing services. Ah, oh, right. I get that. 
but it can be integrated to become a big part of your turnover. It can if you gain loads of rising damp um, inquiries, I suppose, and if it works. But let me go on. <coughs> so what is the device? The device in question is the Mersec Eco, and you can find out more information on this device at HTTPS them little two dots, I don't know what they call them, forward, fa forward slash, forward slash, M-U-R-S-E-C, <coughs> middle dash, eco, dot co dot uk, and then a forward slash, and then a dot, so I don't know whether that's in, but I put all that in and it came up, <coughs> excuse me, and there's a, there's a little picture of this uh, unit, and it works with, it, it, um, it, I think there must be an app. So it works with an app and it's on your phone. And obviously there's a unit that looks looks a bit like a, a, a fan. Uh, it's square, probably around about, well, <laughs> I can't judge how, I, I can't judge how big it is because it's only a small picture. But going with size at phone, um, looks about 150. 150 mil. If you had an 150 mil fan, it was square. What's involved? You will be sending out your surveyors to visit a lot of jobs. They will be trained at your premises. So, I'd, and I don't know whether th this training is going to be from how to fit this unit or whether the, you're supposed to already have them trained as surveyors. Now, it, now it doesn't say relevantly trained surveyors. Um, it just says sending out your surveyors. And then it says uh, how to identify correct situations for the devices. So this sounds as though I don't know whether this comes as part of the support for this device or whether your surveyors are supposed to know this. But I think there's, there'd have to be some kind of conversations between both and we'd have to have a look at terms and conditions. That would be key to it, I think, looking at what they've got in their terms and conditions um, and what you have to do to diagnose actual rising damp. So um, how to identify correct situations for the devices. Once they have done this and filled in the specification form supplied by us, so they've got they've, they've got a tick form. You can quote the customer for the installation. Installations take around twenty minutes, plus the drive time there and back. Um, we have designed this service so our partners will earn around one thousand pound for the supply and fit of a unit. So, as you can see, the profits are really good for the time of the surveyor going to the property anyway and for the technician to install it. Um, so, I'm tipping. It's saying technician to install it. Um, so, I, I, I don't know whether this is hardwired then. It can't be hardwired because you'd, you'd need a, 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 an electrician to start uh, to hardwire it unless it's just going to run on batteries um, and if it runs on batteries whose responsibility is it to you know to put a new battery in we will be supplying and installing these units across the country we will also be carrying out advertising and marketing campaigns in the gl glosses and on radio the firms who are on board with us benefit from this. Will, uh, will the firms that are on board with us will benefit from this, and will be taking work away from their competition. I, 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 I think that's like a used loosely. The questions we ask ourselves is: Can we afford not to take up this? option can we afford not to take this up 
once people start realizing you can damp proof the whole house and all the solid floors with one device no hacking off plaster just remember that it says it here no hacking off plaster and mess etc they will be requesting it not being sold it right so um so th there's a there's another system it's called Schreiber system um Dutch I think Dutch system you'll have seen it you'll have seen it so there's holes in the walls um and the the, the put discs into a wall um how it gets through past advertising I have no idea but they used to advertise it in Sunday papers and it keeps getting changed and it comes from abroad and basically they put discs in your walls that allows air to come through and they said that that that, that system when when they advertised that system they said that the plaster didn't need hacking off so if it it was for rising damp and if you got issues with rising damp and salt bands and that they said that they didn't need hacking off um and obviously it were wrong because this is this is the point the point is that if you if you do have rising damp in your wall you're going to have contaminated plaster and salts in your in your in your plaster and part of bs6 hang on fucking hell i'm not I'm not gonna roll this off my tongue bs i've gone blank i've gone blank with all this information i think your brain can only hold so much information 6576 bs 6576 so it's a british standard for um for replastering after um installation of a, a damp proof course and basically it tells you that you've got to replaster with salt neutralizing plaster so that while the masonry is still drying out so while water is still evaporating out of the masonry once you've put in a, phys a physical retrofitted damp course um so that will stop the source from that's in the ground coming up the capillaries because you've you've put your your damp proof course in so so that wall from where you've put your your, your damp proof course in will continue drying out because it'll be wet up to the where the salt band is and this is this is why you get decoration spoiled you get um wet plaster because the salts are hygroscopic they're absorbing moisture from the air and uh and, and, and basically it can take up to a year for the wall to dry out but it will still have this salt salty deposit on the face of the plaster which will still keep um, absorbing moisture and spoiling decoration. So for up to a year. So this is one of the issues. So as part of a, 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 a damp proofing system, you have to hack off the um, contaminated plaster. But it says here in this letter, once people start realising you can damp proof the whole house right so the whole house now i'm tipping this is the ground floor because it's already said that if it's condensation issues it can't be used on condensation issues it's made no mention of all the other types of damp uh, dampness penetrating damp lateral damp um sulfate salts um escape of water so it says no hacking off of uh, no hacking plaster a mess etc they will be requesting it not being sold it so uh so this is this is my this, this is what stood out for me this 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 part um so then what's the next step it says the next step is to arrange for myself technical director mike davison i've got him up here on linkedin um cssw m dot inst dot s s e not no idea what that is um to visit you and run through everything with a demo of the unit and a copy of the sales info and a survey sheet so you can 
make an informed decision. Now, what's point in having, what's point in taking, it says a demo of the unit. Now, I've not got an house with rising dam, as I said before. 20,000 followers on uh, Facebook. Not seen one rising damp um, picture. And I've not seen rising damp for for years. I think last rising damp I saw were about 15 years ago. Um, actual rising damp, salt bands and law. And that were at a property on Summer Lane at Wunwell. Um, so this is what I'm saying. So how can they give a demo that it works. Do you know what I mean? I, they can only show pictures, I, I think. So then it says, please contact us at sales at the pres uh, sales at preservation shop dot co dot uk. So if anybody's out there that wants to uh, that 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 think that it might help them, then you know, feel free to get in touch with him. So with the best date and time to meet you at the premises and answer your questions. So. That that is the letter that we got from the preservation shop. Obviously, um, my queries and my um, my technical brain being damp Sam. Hang on, and, and fucking argumentative damp Sam. So um, that was that, right? So now, obviously, because I was doing a bit of digging, so I went on to the actual. Morsec Eco um, website, and when when you scroll down, there's a there's a there's a section on here, and I'm just going to read it out to you. So it says, the Morsec Eco multi frequency system emits a very low frequency pulses that have an effect on water molecules within the wall and changes. It's pole orientation preventing the rise of damp. So this is with if you've if you've ever heard of um, the osmosis system that Rentakill used to fit, they used to it, this this worked on a on a similar thing. So they used to drill and inject a, um, a, a wire, and it had a it were plugged plugged in. It were a continuous system all the way around um, property to stop rising damp and. Uh, that emitted a, a, a pulse, a signal, a low pulse, um, as long as it were plugged in. And this what <laughs> this was the um, the failing of the system, I suppose. Um, if it got unplugged or if the system got cut, then because it, it had to be continuous, um, it would stop working. And what what the, the and and this system will never BBA approved, so. Um, it, it were kind of hearsay, but what what people thought happened is that um, you've got inside inside a um, a capillary when you when you get sort of water that is um, rising up through a capillary. There's a, a a skin on top of any water, so you know the basic. Um, the basic science, um, what were it now? Science test or whatever you did. First thing that I ever did at school, I can remember doing it. So I, in first years, we had a, a, a test tube, a water, a beaker, and we had to draw it. And we had to draw the skin of the water and, and it sort of went up at the sides. And on top of water, it was called a meniscus. So that, that that's what they're called. It's like a it's like a bit of a skin on water, and it 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 goes up at the sides. Uh, and I want to say that's com that's convexed, so that goes up. If I'm wrong, put in comments. So it's convexed, and uh, when you put a charge through it, uh, it goes concaved, so it goes downwards. So when it, when it's convexed, um, with pressure, it can wick up the sides of um of a capillary and this is and 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 how far and how quickly it goes up the wall and, and things like that all depends on the source of moisture in the ground so volume the size and length of the capillaries and it's it kind of all works into one and what they said is when you put the put a pulse through it alters the shape of the um 
skin of the meniscus. So rather than being um, convexed, it it changes it to concaved. So I've I've kind of you know I'm I'm not saying that this don't work, and and this is what this is what they're saying. So this signal alters the um, the shape of this, um, and. So it has an effect on the water molecules within the wall and changes the pole, the pole orientation, preventing rising dam. So, so basically, it it changes that shape of, um, of the meniscus from um, convex to concaved. Uh, Merso Eco is unique. Its smart polar embedded technology runs. A specific algorithm which allows the signal to be customized through a mobile device in order to optimize the drying of each building material, brick, stone, or concrete, no matter how heterogeneous and thick the wall is. And then, and then underneath. And this is this is this is the 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 killer for me. So that this is on their website, and it says right after Mersec Eco is installed, and without having to wait for the wall to dry out, listen, the damaged masonry can be replastered. So this is this is a right little section here. And then underneath it says, once replastered, the wall can be painted in 15 days, preferably with a breathable paint. So, in the preservation shop's liter lit liter literature, it says that um, no hacking off plaster, mess, etc. They will be requesting it, not being sold it. So once people realize you can damp proof a whole house and all the solid floors with one device, no hacking off plaster and mess. But on their website, this says, without having to wait for the wall to dry out, the damaged masonry can be replastered. So there's, there's, some, there's, there's some confusion here. Now, I know, as an educated, um, certificated surveyor in remedial treatments, which is, um, Mike doesn't seem to have that, he's got waterproofing, um, but I know that, obviously, you know, BS6576 says that the contaminated plaster needs to be hacked off and then replastered in a system that's got a salt, that's a salt neutralizing system, which there's many on market. You know, so renders, renders, renders with damp proofing, um, liquids in. Um, there's your membranes, there's your lime plasters. There's um, there's there's a whole host. There's a, there's a the Express damp proofing system, which Damp Sam has done a course on, which is the quickest, cleanest uh, system in the world. Quicker than this, so um, and you can get you can sort of buy that at uh, dampsam.com if you wanted to. But um, th but this is so you, this is what sent alarm bells ringing from an educated um, damp surveyor, and uh, these are, these at the preservation shop are saying you can just put it in an house and then it's going to dry it walls out. Now what happens to this? Um, contaminated plaster that's you know that's in now these are saying that you can plaster masonry but it doesn't tell you what type of plaster to use now it looks to me as if this these these bits are going to be on the surveyor's back so the surveyor that goes out and fits it is going to be um the sphere that goes out and fits fits this uh, system is going to have to make sure it's it's a it's rising damp that that is the problem, and then they can they can fit it. But 
it's going to be down to them what finishes you know what finishes are going to be put on after so if they're if they're not going to hack the plaster off and it's going to be left i think you're going to get big game phone calls off of the um the customer saying i've painted it but paint's still flaking off so i've i've i'm i'm not saying that this 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 don't work because i've not seen it in action but they're saying that that it, that it works and they've got case studies so when i scroll down um there's a little there's a little video that shows you how it works and you know as an educated damp surveyor i can i can get my head around that that you know that it that it it could do that and it could stop the water from rising up it, yeah you know it's plausible could happen i'm not saying that and there's this, this case studies here but there's a picture here and it's like i said all paints all scabby and everything so they're not telling you that in, in in they're just telling you about this system I'd, I'd i'd need to know more about what happens with finishes then so have they got a special paint that they put on does it have to be prepped but from this from this uh, literature that preservation shops sent um it's saying that you don't have to hack it off so i you know i'd, I'd like to know more about that and uh listen put them in comments if uh, what what your thoughts are and um you know i'd i'd like to know i mean so, some of the pictures on here they are before it's showing you it before but the, there's only a couple showing after and it has been repainted I mean, there's one that's got like it's, it's like a brick building, and from outside you can see that there's a there's a um, the salt the salt's all over the masonry. There's a salt band, but it doesn't show it after. It just says how how does rising damp show? So it's showing pictures of rising damp, which is fair enough, but it doesn't show these buildings after. There's no pictures afterwards, which is which is worrying. You'd you'd think that they'd have. So there's how many pictures is the? I think there's there's eight pictures. Everyone's a different building, but there's no, and it's showing it is showing the salt bands, its decoration spoil, uh, render bit that's blown off, stuff like that. But it's not showing them after. Um, is there some further up? Yeah, there's a couple further up, but when as soon as you put your cursor over them. It goes dark, um, but these ones further up, the, these are not. Again, it's not the wall. The 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 showing. So there's a, there's a picture on like if you go on website. So Mer, mersec dash eco dash co dot uk. If you go on their website, you'll see what I mean. So the first set of photos that you come to. Um, there's one on left, which is a. A wall we 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 damp proof uh, we salts and decoration spoil, and it's got um, um, a tiled floor in a diamond pattern, which is like red and white. That's that's on left, and you can see there's a door, um, a glass door, in, in far bit of picture. The picture on the on the right has got the same. <laughs> there's a there's a, oh and, and above it there's there's like a. There's like a picture rail, some kind of picture rail or or, or freeze, which is done in fibrous plaster. So on on the left, it's down to door, and then on right, it must be the same place because the, the, you can see that there's this dado rail, but it's further on to right. It must be further on inside, and they've painted it like a brown colour, um, it, and it says before and after, but it's it's clearly not the same. <laughs> The same picture, uh, same area of the same picture. It's a different place. So then, the next bit is again on left-hand picture. You've got like a, a door on left, on far left, and then there's a, a bit of wall underneath and a window above, and like decoration, spoil, all paint peel and everything on plaster. And then the picture on the right 
it's <laughs> it has got a window above and the, there's a there's a wall underneath um but floor's different floor's different i mean there's a there's a, a kind of skirting and it is painted all nice but again it's two totally different pictures it's not it's not the same picture i'm not saying it's not the same room but it's two totally different pictures next one further down you've got um a building that's um again it's there's a door on on left a green green door <laughs> shaky what's behind the green door uh, probably some rising damp um and again here yeah, so so then on on, on this picture there's a, the green door and then there's like um some um like a, a there's like a render keystone or it could be it could be but well, yeah, well it is a render because i can see with with photo on right so that's this photo and then the photo on the right which it, it says before so obviously the door and then it says after photo on right is it could be the same building and i'm not saying it in but it's a totally different part of the building this has got like uh, it's on an hill for a start so um and then there's a it's, it's all been rendered and it's got ashlar jointing on it um and there's a there's a window what's been blocked up and then there's a window further down two totally different pictures of of a different part of the building i'm not saying it's it's not the same building cuz it, it 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 logic says that it, it probably is the same building but it's not the same part so i don't understand i don't I, I don't understand these pictures they're not they're not the same area you'd have thought that it just gone right well we'll show them we'll, we'll take a picture of that but, when I when I'm doing me um when I'm putting my pictures on Facebook, um, on our Facebook group, we um, I'll upload them so I'll do a picture a picture before, a picture halfway through, halfway through system and a picture at the end. It'll be exact same bit at wall, because that's what people want to see. But this is just um, I don't know why they've done that. Why the why the different pictures? There's, there must be a reason for it. And you have to make your own minds up once you've watched, uh, looked at the the site. Um, so yeah, so Mersec Eco UK, um, and I don't know whether this site now, nah, this 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 site must be uh, owned by the preservation shop. Um, it has got this guy's um, face on it, the the, the Ramon Ramon. His face is on it somewhere. There's a there's a video, and it says rising damp problems. Get rid of them. It says um, multi frequency the wireless system polarity inverter against uh, rising damp problems. Um, and then there's a picture a ram on on left like kind of pointing a bit with his other hand like that. A bit of a grimace on his face or a smile, whichever you want to say. Um, and then there's some decoration spoil on picture behind him. The renders all the way to the floor, which is which is, which would cause a bridging issue. Um, and then it says cancelled. So the, and the, and the cancelled stamp. It's like a red in red cancelled. A big stamp of a two pictures of two raindrops. <laughs> so uh, and and again, um, when you can become a approved contractor on this. Um, on this website so um so yeah so i'll read you this bit so it says many ground floor basements in old buildings are damaged by rising damp uh other if it's in a basement now it could be a, a party wall um rising damp could could be on party wall on dividing walls but the um retaining walls in a basement is going to be lateral damp it's not it's not going to be rising damp so at, at the lower part of the wall uh, at the, uh yeah sorry at the lower part of the wall the yeah there's there's a full stop at end so at the lower part of the wall and then it says the plaster crumbles the paint flakes off the salt appears people's health suffer and the house loses value um people's i've not known people's health suffer from rising damp um probably a contributing factor is 
the high humidity um and that high humidity the moisture in the air will be being absorbed from the hygro hygroscopic salts um that's come from the ground um but is that that's not rising damp that is that is a different issue that's that's a ventilation and insulation and um and condensation form uh, uh, things like that so it, it, that is not uh, you know specifically rising damp is it so um yeah so so that's kind of kind of wrong rising damp is caused by moisture from the ground and there's a full stop and then it says damp rises up through the tiny pores and capillaries of the wall the damp evaporates and the dissolved salts crystallize degrading the plaster and the paint so uh, kind of, it's kind of like that but you know I, I want to describe it like that the accumulation of salts in the wall causes the wall to behave like a battery the wall molecules are oriented with the negative pole upward and act like a magnet causing the damp to rise hmm that's not well that's, that's not how I've learnt it anyway I'm not saying it's wrong but that's not how, how I'd describe it and how I've learnt it so yeah have a look on their website um, yeah have a, have a look and see what you think see what you think so I just I thought we're sending me this through I'll, I'll jump on this first <clears throat> put my head above the parapet and uh, tell people my thoughts on it um and it and, and it's like any system that's not been bba approved um and i'm not comparing it to a schreiber system i'm saying the similarities where they were advertising um this product saying that you didn't have to knock the plaster off and put a, a replastering system in so when people the, that would be a selling point. That would be a massive selling point that you didn't have to knock the plaster off that were contaminated plaster. Um, and I think if you're telling people that, um, I think that's wrong. You shouldn't be saying that because you are going to have to take that plaster off um, if it's rising damp, in my opinion. I think that there's going to be no other alternative if it's, ri if it's actual rising damp, which... Is very very rare. So it's are you gonna are you gonna get that many properties? We can be putting these in, you know, two or three a week to get your hundred or well, extra hundred grand a year. What they say. I've not seen a a, a, a rising damp thing. But then, but then, listen, saying that this is where I live. I'm 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 from up north. Um, I'm 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 based in Barnsley. I've had a surveyor speak to me on Facebook um, a couple of months ago. And he was saying that he's doing three, he's doing three um, speedy tests a day and finding loads of rising damp. Um, I'd argue that he didn't. I'd argue that he's not fucking getting rising damp. Um, and I, and I and I offered to go with him on it because he's saying he's getting three a week. I said I offered to go with him and shadow him for two weeks. I'd I'd have time off as long as I could video it. And he could prove to me that, he's, that these are rising damp. So I'd see these before and after. Um, didn't get any response. <laughs> didn't get any response. Um, so, yeah. Anybody that... and Listen. There's a lot of people out there saying rising damp don't exist. Um, it does exist. It's just that it's, it's very rare nowadays. It's very rare because our houses are being built with a, um, a damp proof course, like I explained before. And um, these damp proof courses that are that are being built in, um, and we've had r retrofit DPCs have been going since you know sixties, seventies, uh, very heavy in eighties. Um, even though th there were you know high pressure systems putting silicon in, it will work to a certain extent. Um, and if it's not that, 
it's normally a bridging issue. So you've, you've got a damp proof course in and it's a bridging issue, which is a different, it, it, it's, it's a different type of damp. It's, it's bridging. So, so you've got dampness bridging it. So is it rising damp into it? Is it still salts from ground? Um, is this system going to stop it? Do you not have to hack it off? A lot, still a lot more questions. And, They've probably invested a lot of money in this. So they've obviously bought rights and invested a lot of money in it. Um, I'd just say, rather than your testing it, um, I'd like to see all terms and conditions um, and, and probably do another video after I've read all terms and conditions. Um, but just going from the uh, information that I've been sent, which is this letter, what's on website and what's in... Uh, well, it's not in that one anyway... And what's in website, um, and you know, and, and what they've said, I'm, I'm skeptical. I'm skeptical at minute. Um, I'm not skeptical in fact that I, I, I don't disagree that it might not work. I, it won't be for me. I won't have confidence that that is. But you need to. We need to find out. You know, your set. Th these are these are saying that they don't have to hack off. So the preservation shop. So Mike has said. In his thing, was signed by him here, yeah, look, Mike Davison. Um, in black and white, no hacking off of plaster or mess. So they'll be requesting it, not being sold it. But yet, on uh, Ramos's uh, site, I think it's his site, but it says it's Eco UK. So, and they said they bought rights, so it must be theirs. Um, on their site. He says about masonry can be re replastered afterwards. Um, yeah, more quali clarification, I think. So, um, I was only going to do half an hour and I've ended up rambling on, haven't I? But I, I hope you found it interesting and I'd love to hear what everybody thinks about it in the comments because uh, it's, it's a new technology and, um, like I said, the, I think there is some in it, and it uh, and, and it probably could work. It, it, I don't know. It, it could work <clears throat> and stop penetrating damp, but they don't say that, do they? It's it's got it's there's not nothing in this literature about any other types of damp, lateral damp, penetrating damp, sulfate salts, um, leaks, and, and things like that. They're only saying specifically rising damp. And when somebody says specifically that, and then that's followed with you don't have to hack any plaster off that's contaminated, then alarm bells ring for me. Alarm bells ring for me. And, and this is a, you know, this is supposed to be, you know, he's a, an educated guy, albeit in waterproofing. And um, this is a, a, a company that's supplying to, um, to England from a lovely part of the world in Newcastle. So uh, I think there's more questions than answers. Um, so if, if, if Mike's out there, Mike, send us some, you know, some clarification. Let's have a look. I'd, what I'd like to see is your um, terms. So you can send them to dampsam at the damp show dot co dot UK. And that comes straight to me. So your terms and conditions, um, and a bit more clarification on, you know, your press releases and what you put out there. So specifically like to sort of, you know, find out more about this no hacking off of plaster. Um, and I'd, I'd like to see what, what you're responsible, what you're responsible for as, um, as the main supplier and what owners you put on your, um, people that, you, that that's going to be selling this product um what do the surveyors have to have any qualifications relevant qualifications is that in the paperwork or can any sort of tom dick and harry go uh i suspect that once once the uh, preservation shop sells the unit that's all responsibility gone. All, all, all they'll do with then is, um, is basically 
just do like a 12 month warranty or even it might be even a five year one on the actual unit and that's the that's them done so um yeah i think they're just they're just going to guarantee actual product so if you if you're offered this you know let me know what you think if you are selling it if you if you're a a damp company and you you're selling it if you installed a few um let me you know let me know what you think i'm i'm just just off the top of my head so there's a company out there that's uh you know the sound as if they're wood based uh that's got sales sales surveyors and um they send out uh I've, I've, in fact i've had one this week i've had a survey this week and uh again you know recommending saying it saying it's rising down saying saying I've looked at plan and everything, and it's rising damp, and they've even drawn in, um, you know, fireplace in in a hundred and hundred and twenty year old house. They've even drawn fireplace in as well, um, saying it's rising damp. It's got to be treated for rising damp because old DPC physical DPC is broke down, uh, and again, it's like yeah, fucking has it has it really has it all broke down? So these these are like sort of saying that 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 is rising damp rant um chimney breast and it's normally lateral damp or sulfate salts and when i see you know a, a survey that says that that says it's got rising damp and then they've, they've put it around chimney breast alarm bells ring so if if these are saying that this unit can be put in and it fixes all, all rising damp then what about all other issues do you know what i mean are you going to just put that unit in for your external walls and a few internal walls and then but then you've got to put a what an isolation system or a waterproofing system on your chimney breasts um and that bit of wall we what's you know got high ground level outside i think it, it i think it ends up you you'd end up recommending too many things you're recommending too many things so rather than going in and saying right well we can fit this system you're saying well um that wall that wall and that wall has got rising damp so I, the, the, and this is what i put in a report I'll, I'll say that wall's rising damp that's sulfate salts that's low ground level that's bridging this is and i'll and, and we explain everything in report and because every wall's normally got a different type of damp and i will say this has got to be done this has got to be done but this is where the um the price point breaks down because um what they've said is a thousand pound for 20 minutes if i can find it hang on oh i see here we go so uh, we've designed the service so that our partners will earn a thousand pounds for the supply and fit of a unit. So as you can see, the profits are really good, right? Yeah. Well, you've got to do a you've got to do a survey first. So to, to supply and fit the unit is a thousand pound, but you'd have had to do a survey. Hmm. So I I I, I don't get it. They say no. 20 minutes to to fit plus the drive there and drive back i'm skeptical that you can just go and fit one this unit and it's going to fix all issues um and i think this is this is the problem with our industry and, and this is what i've said isn't it this is the problem with the damp industry misdiagnosis um and i think this throws another spanner in works this this product and the literature that's that that's been put out on on both uh, on website and on, and on this a lot of grey areas. And I know it's saying that it, I, I get that this is just a you know this is just a, a flyer that's gone out, but this is a this is like a this is a flyer that's gone out to get damp companies interested in this so that they can have a site visit and show us more. But what worries me is this has been sent to us. But as they've said, they're going to be advertising it in glosses and on radio and and all that. So 
that's going to have to be an even shorter advert. So what are they going to say about this this unit to try to get members of the public to to have it? So they're going to there's going to be even less um, information in there, but it's going to be advertised as a like a you know all singing, all dancing. This is this will get rid of your thing. We aren't hacking any plaster off. A bit like these the 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 adverts that went in the Sunday magazine uh, Sunday papers that were a full page saying that you know all you needed was to fit these things into into your wall and um, and there were no hacking off at plaster and it had fix it and it didn't so so that's it you know what I mean I think it, it they just I think they just it's going to be down to whoever's selling them to sell it to the person. And it's going to be another one of them where the guy goes and sits with him for hours on end till the bite. Um, so let me know what you think in the comments. Um, that's that's me done. I didn't think I was going to be this long uh, doing the podcast. Um, I think what I'm going to do with this, I'll uh, I'll send it into uh, I'll send it into our tech guys, and I'll try and I'll try and get them to uh, to do a. Uh, thingy version of it. Go on. I'll put it on damp. I'll put it on damp sounds damp show because uh, I, I just think I, th I think it's it's a it's a discussion that's that's going to be needed to be had amongst our uh, our more learned friends in the PCA. Um, like I said, there's there's some professors, so I'd like to know what um, Graham Coleman thinks. Um, I'd like to know what Brian thinks at Brick Tie. Um, I'd like to know what guys at Dry Fix think about it. Um, I'd like to know what Ross Charter thinks about it. Um, if I've missed anybody out, um, apologies. Any any professory types? Oh, Steve. Uh, yeah. Go on, Steve. <laughs> what head of PCA? I forgot his second name. Sorry, that's what happens when you leave PCA, isn't it? Um, yeah. So, Steve, what do you think about it? Um, be nice to know. Put your put your thoughts in. Um, put your thoughts in at bottom underneath, and uh, and I'll read them, and we'll see what what it's there. And if Mike's watching, put your two penneth in, Mike, um, and just you know, let us know. Why you think that contaminated plaster shouldn't be shouldn't be took off? So, uh, and, and website says, you know, to for it to be replastering uh, replastered. Um, yeah, damp Sam. I hope you've enjoyed this one, and I hope it's got some uh, gets people talking. It's good to talk, you know. See you at next time. Bye bye now. <laughs>